Epilepsy is neurological disorder that characterized by recurrent epileptic seizures. Patients with epilepsy who become pregnant are at risk of complications, including changes in seizure frequency, maternal morbidity and mortality, and congenital anomalies due to anti-epileptic drug exposure. Over 90% of women with epilepsy have healthy babies. Almost 80% of women with epilepsy will not experience a change in seizure frequency during pregnancy. But around 15-32% to seizure frequency and severity may increase, because estrogen and progesterone can alter neuronal excitability. Women who are seizure-free in the nine months prior to pregnancy have an 84% to 92% chance of remaining seizure-free during pregnancy on their current regimen. Children who are born to women with epilepsy have higher risk of birth defects. This risk is around four times higher compared to general population. When we speaking birth defects we mean, major malformations include cleft lip and palate, ventricular septal defect, neural tube defects, and minor abnormalities. Being seizure-free for at least 9 to 12 months is a relatively good predictor of freedom from seizure throughout the pregnancy. Using monotherapy prior to and during pregnancy is preferred. A key part of preparing for pregnancy involves trying to identify the minimum therapeutic dose. That can control women's seizures. Valproate and phenobarbital have higher risks of causing clinical malformations and cognitive impairment. Intermediate risk of teratogenicity drug is topiramate. Lower teratogenic risk appears to present for lamotrigine and levetiracetam. It is important to note that both lamotrigine and levetiracetam have a very high clearance in the second and third trimesters, which has led to the need for significantly higher doses. Ideally, safe and effective medication selection should occur prior to pregnancy. Use of monotherapy and frequent serum AED concentrations monitoring will decrease the risk of dose-related teratogenicity and decrease the risk of complications from increased seizure frequency.